Today we'll be demonstrating the features and benefits of our new Mongoose XE Extreme Edition and XLE Extended Length Edition motion attachments. This includes how to move the different aspects of the motion attachment and why it's important to you, the user. The Mongoose XE and XLE is our premium line of motion attachments made to give you flexibility to move laptop docks, tablet docks, and keyboards to the optimal location in your vehicle. They join the already popular Mongoose family of motion attachments that we have offered for years. Now the main difference between the two models is the range of movement and extension you are granted. The Mongoose XE allows for over-centering position, which provides a great stowed position, keeping the docking station out of the way. With this model, the docking station will only move the length of the motion attachment. The Mongoose XLE, when stowed, has the clevis approximately 4 inches from pivot. This extension allows for the docking to extend past the edge of the arm to move the keyboard or docking station in the most ideal position for you. Now that we understand the differences between the two models, let's discuss the features. The first thing you may notice are the blue accents. These are the touch points for moving the motion attachment. The front blue piece allows for side-to-side -side rotation of the entire motion attachment. To pivot, pull the lever towards you and move left or right for the best placement. The second blue piece, located on the side of the motion attachment, allows for movement of the docking station forwards and backwards. Pull the trigger towards you to bring the docking station closer to you. Take note of the smooth, effortless motion when positioning the dock station. The smooth motion comes from the four linear bearings residing under the motion device. Having the bearings under the motion device rather than on top helps protect the rail and bearings from being damaged by objects that may come into contact with the attachment. When you are finished using the docking station, simply push the dock on the motion attachment back to its stowed position. As you may have noticed, when the dock gets pushed back, you can hear audible clicks. These are locking points that are roughly every inch. Once you have the docking station in position, simply release the lever. The trigger will then lock into the nearest locking point. To ensure the dock doesn't come forward unexpectedly, the motion attachment trigger will lock the docking station into place in the forward position. The trigger will not, however, lock into place when pushing the docking station back. To ensure the motion attachment goes away from the occupant, not towards the occupant or user. This motion device on top of the arm is called the clevis. This is where the docking station or keyboard would be mounted. The clevis can rotate and tilt, providing ultimate adjustability to the user. Simply turn the ratcheting handle to loosen the ratchet and move it back to tighten. Always be sure the mount holding the motion attachment is secured to a strong and stable surface for everyone's safety. In addition to our Mongoose family of products, we also have several accessories that can be easily paired with the motion devices. One of which is the independent tablet display brackets. Designed for use with the Mongoose XLE, these brackets attach at the pivot point to allow either a Gamber Johnson tablet display mount or Zircona tablet display mount for an independent tablet and keyboard solution. In this setup, the keyboard would be able to tilt, swivel, pull out, and push back independently from the tablet that would be mounted on the tablet display. The setup also allows for viewing of the tablet when the keyboard is no longer needed. Another great accessory we have are the bump stops. The bump stops are compatible with both the Mongoose XE and Mongoose XLE models. Simply snap the bump stops on the round rail under the motion attachment near the pivot point. This will limit the travel of the docking station when pushed back. These bump stops were created to help prevent the clevis from traveling too far back towards the pivot point and potentially hitting a dash or another surface. With many different installation scenarios, there's motion attachments and accessories made to create the ideal solution for your vehicle. Learn more by visiting our website or contacting a local dealer in your area.